my apple knowledge with you. Yes, yes, let me share my apple knowledge with you. Yes, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the He Said What? The He Said What Show. I'm your host, I'm your girl, Sister C, the best. Yes, and we're in the kitchen cooking some homemade applesauce tonight for the first time. Why not? Do something you never did before. Yes, yeah, so mom was like, call me, I say, look, Tasha, got some apples you want? I'm like, uh, okay, let me, my, my, my mom make delicious homemade applesauce. My dad eat it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack in between. And she made some a few weeks ago and she gave, um, sent me some home to get my son and my husband ate some. He was like, oh, Tasha, this is good. You know how to make this? I'm like, okay. So when she called me yesterday, I'm like, sure, why not? I take the apple. So here I go making some homemade applesauce. So I've already peeled my apples and I did like 16 um, medium to large apples and I peeled them, I washed them and I got them already on the pot, got, uh, got them in the pot, got them boiling and what I did, I put them in the pot and I did um, less than half the amount of water um, to go with the apples. So I had like a pot full but I did like two cups of water to go with them. So I got them on like a medium high heat and they've been boiling and my mom said that while they're boiling, it constantly take the foam off. So she said, put a pot, put the top on it, but constantly take the foam off. So I'm stirring them up to make sure they don't stick. And I got them on like a medium high heat. So she'll make sure they cook all the way down. And then that's when you add your little sugar and brown um, your sugar. She said that you can use um, white sugar. But I was like, oh, maybe I'll put a little twist to it. So we're going to do half and half. I'm going to do a little white sugar, a little brown sugar, and some cinnamon nutmeg up to your taste. So we're cooking homemade applesauce tonight. And he said, what? Endless apps. We make it applesauce. He says, endless apps. It's forever. Endless apps. Endless deliveries. All you have to do is trust me. So I'm like, Lord, how do I trust you? He says, don't doubt. He said, what? How you trust me is just don't doubt. Be faithful to your faith. Say no nope to doubt and look up with hope. Hope and trust in me and watch what I deliver. He said, what? Watch what I deliver. He says, if you feel like it's taking too long, he said, just call back. I got some for that. Wait. You know how like, you like, man, with a piece of ever here, we answer. He said, but come call back. I got something for that. He says, keep the faith and don't let no worms get in your apps. No doubt, get in your apps. He said, what? Endless apps. It's forever endless apps. And you know how you go to Fridays and you make order some wings and they got endless apps. They like, you can get some wings. You can get the pot, suck the pot suckers. You can get, um... Mozzarella sticks, you can get like, you just keep coming. You, they, you tell the waitress, they keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. Guess what? Because you paid for, to get the endless apps. So guess what you all, with, with God, we get endless deliveries, y'all. Endless. Back that thing up. First Corinthians, I mean, I'm sorry, Second Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. Verse 9 says, but we had the sentence of death in ourselves that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God who raised the dead, who delivered us from so great a death, and he does deliver. In him we trust, and he will yet deliver us. He paid, Jesus paid the ultimate price for our sins. He delivered us from death by the death and suffering of he did on the cross for us. He did that. It's like we can't trust in ourselves because guess what? He said, well, we got to trust in God who raised Jesus from the dead. So it's like, he says, all you got to do is trust in me. My son went to the cross for you and I delivered you from that terrible death. And he says, if you trust and I do deliver, he says, and if you just yet trust me, I will yet deliver you. Help us right there, Holy Ghost. Guess what? If we call Domino's tonight, guess what? They're going to deliver. All we got to do is keep on calling Domino's. They're going to deliver. And he says, if we yet trust them. And I'm like, Lord, how I trust you? He says, simply don't doubt. Okay, don't doubt. He says, be faithful to your faith. And he says, even if you get a little antsy, he said, call me back. I got something for you. Call him back. All right, come on, back that thing up. All right. 
right, Jeremiah 33 and 3. He said, what? Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things that thou knowest not. Hallelujah. Thank you. We have an awesome God that we can talk to, y'all. That we can call like, Lord, why am I waiting? Like, I don't know, understand this. Guess what? The Holy Spirit, he's our friend and he will talk to us. Hallelujah. So he said, you just call me. I'm going to give you something. I'm going to give you something worth, 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 worth listening to. He said, what? Just call on me and I'm going to answer you and show you great and mighty things happening. Holy Ghost. That we know not of. So it's like even in your weight, get excited, God says, I'm doing something even in the weight. So even in my time, I'm like, okay, God, just meditating. And I'm thinking about an apple. He says, an apple on a tree is beautiful. He said, but it must be picked or fall so that you can reach it or even eat it. He says, do you prefer to just see the apple or do you want to be able to eat it? He says, some, some things have to fall in order for you to enjoy the blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So even in the midst of the next scripture that I'm going to use is Romans 8. I think it's Romans 8 and 18. It says, for I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Ha, shed age. Woo, thank you, Jesus. So in the midst of whatever we may be going through, God says, you're going through this right here. It don't compare to the glory, hallelujah, to the blessing that you're about to get in the midst of your lack, in the midst of your suffering. Hallelujah. So in spite of what it looked like we've been going through, he says, just dump it on me and watch what I'm about to dump on you. That we believe him in spite of the lack. Ha, huh? thank you, Jesus. Huh? The Bible says, he that sick need no physician. Help me, Holy Ghost, right there. So even if you sick in your body, he says, I am the Lord God, your healer. So right there, he said, watch what I deliver. If you sick, call on me. I'm going to heal you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you in luck, he said, call on me. Hallelujah. I'm your provider. I shall supply your every need. So he says, even in that. Ha, huh, thank you, Jesus. Watch what I'm going to do. Ha, huh, thank you, Jesus. So he says, from beauty to a blessing. So you may just, it, it's one thing to look at an apple tree and say, oh, what beautiful apples. Huh? But it's another thing to have that beautiful apple in your hand that you may eat and taste and see that it is good. Huh? So let me just encourage you right there. Sister, see the best. Encourage yourself. That in the midst of whatever you're going through, huh? know that the, 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 the sufferings of what you're going through right now, it don't compare to the glory, hallelujah, that shall be revealed. The blessing in it, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, yes. So God says endless apps. All you got to do is trust me and I'm a yet deliver. Endless apps. Hallelujah. If you need a healing, he said, oh, I got that too. You need a breakthrough. Oh, I got that too. Your heart may be broken. He said, oh, I got that too. Your kids, may, oh, I got that too. Whatever it is, oh, he got that too. Endless apps. He says, if you trust me, huh, thank you, Jesus, I will yet deliver. He says, I said, like, okay, Lord, how do I trust you? He said, just don't doubt. Just don't doubt. And we trust him. Oh, he says, don't let any worms, which is doubt, get in your eyes. Then we keep on trusting God. Well, he said, I might like, spit out doubt. Puh, 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 puh. Spit it out. No. Be faithful to your faith. That we hold on to the profession of our faith without wavering. For he is faithful that promise. Hallelujah. Let's check on these applesauce over here. Yeah, so they coming on apart, they falling all apart and we gonna cook them just a little bit more until they you can't take your spoon and just um, mash them a little bit because they are getting nice and tender and soft and I'm about to add my little sugar to it and my cinnamon and my nutmeg and ooh, we gonna be eating applesauce. And I love warm applesauce with some bread. You know how you sop up gravy? I like to take my bread and sop up some applesauce. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. God is just so good and he is greatly to be praised. And like he said, he just longed to be our BFF. 
that he's our entertainer, that he's our company keeper, that, you know, that he talk with us and he just encourage us and he just give us hope and a future. He says that he, he wish above all that we prosper and be in health even as our soul prosper. So he just have such great thoughts for us. And all we got to do is just believe and trust in him, trust in his word. He said he going to yet deliver. All we got to do is call. Just like you call Domino's and Pizza, all you got to do is call. And they'll be more than willing to get your money. Ha! Huh. Thank you, Jesus. All we got to do is call on Jesus. Call God and just trust him. He'll be more than willing and able. Hallelujah. Now unto him that's able, y'all. He able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all we can ask or think. According to the power that worketh within us. And if we got knowledge and know that, all I got to do is just trust him. He going to yet deliver. Yes. I just pray that you all be encouraged. That we be encouraged knowing that he'll never leave us nor forsake us. That all he wants us to do is just, want us to do is just trust him with our whole heart. Trust him. Eat no doubt. And just be full of faith. Be faithful to your faith. So our applesauce is coming right along. So I'm going to... Um, Gradually stir in my sugar. I'm starting off with a cup of sugar. I did a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of white sugar. And I'm stirring, and stirring, and stirring. And I'm going to add some cinnamon and some nutmeg. And it's up to you depending on, um, some people like um, more of a nutmeg taste than cinnamon. So that's depending on you. So it, that's all up to you. Yes, yeah, so we got us some applesauce. Yes, and I also will put the recipe in the subscription box. Yes, and I hope you enjoy make you some good old homemade applesauce as well. Yes, I pray and I love you. Have a wonderful, lovely, blessed night. And know that we got endless apps, y'all. Endless apps. Endless deliveries. All we got to do is call him. He says, you get antsy about that thing. He says, just call on me and I'm going to answer you and show you great and mighty things that you know not of. I love you. Have a blessed night. Know that the blessings of the Lord, they make us rich and add no sorrow. He said, what? He said, you so rich you can't be poor if you want it to. Have a blessed night and may the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit let it rest, rule, and abide in your heart henceforth, now and forever, forever, forever more. Amen. I love you. Good night. See you tomorrow on the... He said, what? The He Said What Show.